Hey there, thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna to take a deep dive into your thyroid. I know many of us have been told time and time again that there's nothing wrong with your thyroid, so losing weight shouldn't be a big deal. Your thyroid markers are fine. Nothing wrong with your thyroid. Well, I have something more to add to that conversation. Thanks for stopping in. I'm Connie. This is Over 50 Fat Blast, fat loss secrets for the over 50 woman. Let's get started. So your thyroid. Yes, the thyroid. Very misunderstood and quite obviously very important. Um, our thyroid is that gland in our neck that produces hormones um, the hormones start with a T, T4, T3, there's two, T1 and T, T2 as well. If you didn't know, T4 is the hormone your thyroid produces and that's the storage hormone. And most women, um, if you're under a doctor's care and um, have thyroid issues, they offer T4 thyroid storage hormone medication called Synthroid. And that then gets converted into the usable form of thyroid hormone, which is T3. So the important fact about the conversion is there's a couple different issues um, that we really wanna be careful that aren't happening in the conversion of T4, the storage hormone, into the usable hormone. The role of our thyroid is to regulate regulate our metabolism. It also helps with our energy. It regulates our body temperature. So if you're always freezing or you have cold hands or feet, you might suspect your thyroid. If you're having trouble losing weight, if, if your metabolism is non-existent, then it's time to look closely at what's going on with thyroid hormones. We can get great information from running a complete thyroid panel, looking at TSH, which is thyroid stimulating hormone, which really isn't um, thyroid at all. It's more pituitary. T4, like a free T4, free T3, and the one that gets missed often is reverse T3. And we're gonna talk a lot about that today. Um, I'm a blood work specialist and I love to get your labs to offer a deeper understanding of what's going on. And when you have a complete thyroid hormone panel to offer, we can really understand what's going on with all things thyroid. So we're gonna be talking about the conversion of T4, storage hormone, into the usable thyroid hormone, T3. And the less T3 you have circulating in your body, the more symptoms you have. T3 is about two to 300 times more active than T4. So we wanna maximize active thyroid hormone and yay T3. One of the debilitating conversion factors of the thyroid storage hormone into usable hormone is low calorie dieting. We get trapped into thinking we need to eat less so that our body loses fat, but it also turns down the ability to produce usable thyroid hormone, T3. Another factor that we need to consider in maximizing the conversion into T3 is inflammation. When the body's inflamed, damage is done to the thyroid itself. Production of thyroid hormone is very difficult. Lack of sleep is another big issue that kind of shunts thyroid hormone production. Gut issues like dysbiosis, IBS, IBD, SIBO, small intestinal bacteria overgrowth, um, GERD, anything that is gut related should be a priority for you to really address because your thyroid is gonna struggle if you don't have good digestion. Chronic inflammation is a deal breaker for your thyroid. 
So I know we talk about it incessantly in the health field, but inflammation is going to definitely determine whether your hormones are produced and converted properly. There's also other things like prescription medications and endocrine disruptors that are going to deplete the thyroid's ability to, number one, produce hormones and to convert that storage hormone into usable hormone, or it converts it into something that is almost worse, the reverse T3, and we'll get to that in a minute. There are certain supplements that you wanna really make sure that you have. Um, zinc and selenium are two that are very, very beneficial for thyroid hormone to be able to function as well as possible. And of course, a healthy diet with plenty of protein so that you have the amino acid profile the raw materials to build all things hormone and thyroid related. So when it comes to feeling better, we wanna maximize the T3 production in your body. We want that active thyroid hormone to be the star of the show so that your metabolism runs, you're warm, and you just feel better. How do we maximize the production of T3? Well, we gotta make sure that nothing's getting in the way of the conversion from the storage hormone to the active hormone. And the drug, the prescription drug that you could ask your doctor for is Cytomel. Um, that is actual T3. And it's used sparingly, unfortunately, in the medical world. Um, but you could ask your doctor to let you try it. L-tyrosine is an amino acid that could assist in helping you increase your thyroid function, but it's not end all be all. So if your doctor isn't willing to allow you to take uh, the, the T3 medication, then there are things we can do to strategize and improve the conversion from storage hormone T4 to usable hormone T3. First of all, we need to optimize nutrition. And that goes without saying. I even said it before. So really getting clear that um, eating whole foods, eating quality fats, avoiding all the things that do, you know, that do get in the way of optimal function is key. Improving your gut health, taking a digestive enzyme, reducing the bloat and increasing stomach acid, healing the gut, and we can talk about that. That's a case by case situation where the jumpstart session would be a really good place to start. Um, there's some new things on the horizon like peptides that can really masterfully improve gut health and overall inflammatory issues. We also wanna really understand the body's ability to convert T4 into T3. And if you have chronic illness, um, stress, chronic stress, a chronic infection, or anything that's uh, like lengthy chronic issues, then it's quite likely that your body might be converting your usable thyroid hormone into reverse T3. And I call that the hibernating bear hormone. We don't want that. Um, we can look at your labs. Obviously, you need to have your reverse T3 measured in serum, but it's wonderful when I can look at your labs and see uh, elevated reverse T3. We can really strategize and balance out that reverse T3, blow that out of the body and allow the body to have more usable hormone T3. And what happens when you're high in reverse T3, typically there's, you know, the unwanted insulin resistance leptin resistance. Certain drugs like antidepressants and beta blockers could also block and increase reverse T3 in the body. Knowing this, we know that our usable thyroid hormone is being blocked. It's not available for the body to use. So of course the metabolism is suffering and other things suffer as well. How do we reverse the reverse T3? 
well. Exercise is a really good way. A light HIIT training workout several days a week is going to be key in blowing out that reverse hormone. Intermittent fasting is going to help with insulin resistance and leptin resistance. We want to stop restricting calories and eat properly. So there's the fasting, there's the feasting. It's all the things that I've talked about in previous videos that are going to really increase the body's thyroid production. It makes sense, but if you're unaware or just had no idea, then this is wonderful to start to understand in a way that makes more sense. We also want to be aware of our iron. We want to optimize iron and ferritin. Adequate iron in the body is required for optimal thyroid function and hormone production. If we're looking at serum ferritin in the body, we want your ranges to be between 40 and 60 nanograms per milliliter. We also want to make sure that your liver is functioning well. And we look at the AST and ALT and I like numbers to be under 20. That suggests that you have a strong functioning liver and nothing like fatty liver is going on. Managing stress and adrenal function is huge because chronic stress and tapped out adrenals are gonna make it very difficult for the thyroid to manage hormone production. Maybe reduce the caffeine. I know sometimes it's like you have to have the caffeine to carry on throughout the day, but if your adrenals are taxed and you're chronically stressed out, then switch to green tea or like yorba mate or sit and meditate for five minutes. Iodine is another uh, tool we can use, but I don't want to get into that. That's a little bit too um, iffy and we just can't do that in a YouTube video. Again, diet and exercise. So having a really good foundation is going to maximize thyroid production, diet, proper sleep, exercise, supplementation, sometimes medication, and stress reduction are the go-to for all things proper function. And we know this. Um, we just need to put it into practice and understand it in a way that, that maybe you didn't, you, you weren't aware of. Um, Next time you go get blood work, ask your provider to do a complete thyroid workup if you're struggling. Um, if that is something that falls on deaf ears, then you can order your own and get to the lab. It's a little more clunky and um, it, you know, you're, you're not used to doing that for yourself, but you can have someone like me look at those levels and educate you so that you can go into the doctor's office and ask for something that might just be your answer. The more natural thyroid medications are Nature Throid and Armor Thyroid. Some of them are wonderful and, and work beautifully in the body. And sometimes the synthetic, the Synthroid and the Cytomel are the key to your success. Um, there are so many ways to maximize function and it's up to you to kind of dig deep and learn all you can um, about your thyroid and how your function is so that you can be the best that you can be and that you feel good in your body and that you feel like you're not dead in the water in your weight loss journey. As we age, we need to really start maximizing our efforts and learning more is going to really help us to be able to be an advocate when we do see our provider and have more information to share and ask and um, get clarity on. So I, I hope that was helpful. Another thing I want to chat about today is I'm getting questions from you guys and I love it. Um, obviously, we answer lots of questions in my sessions with my clients, but a couple that keep coming up is, Connie, if I'm, you know, 
five six and weigh 170 pounds how am i supposed to get all the protein in and be able to feel good what should i be eating to get that 100 plus grams of protein in a 24-hour period when i'm fasting when i'm doing the intermittent fasting and trying to eat clean well i'm going to share a couple strategies that might be helpful because it is it's it's kind of overwhelming um, to get 100 grams of protein in when you're not feeling hungry or you're not feeling like eating protein that's a that's a tall order again i've said this many times but the perfect aminos two servings which is yeah that's 10 tablets that's 30 grams of protein right there and if you have uh six ounces of chicken breast or chicken thighs for lunch um, you're probably going to get about 40 grams of protein and if you top that off with a protein powder in maybe a greek yogurt or a coconut or cashew dairy-free yogurt that's another 20 to 30 grams of protein and if you're doing two meals a day that's going to be about 30 40 20 that's almost 90 grams of protein right there before dinner. Sometimes you're not even gonna wanna eat dinner at that point, but then you have a, a, a great portion of salmon. Say you're gonna do four to five ounces of salmon for dinner and you're golden. I mean, you're gonna feel amazing as long as you have digestive enzymes that help you digest the proteins. Um, usually the protein powders and the perfect aminos aren't going to require much by way of digestion because they are kind of pre-digested and they're ready to go in the body but that's going to allow you to really really get on the right page and have the raw materials those amino acids are hugely important to redevelop old cells and rebuild the body in a way if you haven't been eating your protein and your hair isn't feeling luxurious and your nails aren't growing well and you have more body fat than you want then you owe it to yourself to get in the habit of eating that much protein on the daily it's important ladies so many times i'm talking to you um during sessions and you're telling me that you might only get 30 grams of protein and i see it i see it every day um, thin hair sallow skin low energy you need the tools to build you don't go to the construction job with no tools it doesn't work that way you can't make something out of nothing you have to provide the body with the raw materials and it takes effort it takes diligence it takes stick to itness but you can do this you're worth it give it a try i know that you're going to feel better and when i hear that these things are expensive i understand that but i feel like if you get the ball rolling maybe choose to spend your money using these quality products that will get the ball rolling so that you can start feeling better as soon as possible. I've got discount codes. Um, I use these products myself and I stand behind them. The Prime Protein, Equip Foods Prime Protein Beef Isolate Protein Powder, it's so pure. I mean, it is clean and it settles nicely in most everyone I've talked with, um, I think it's a winner. So I'll encourage you again, just consider it. Yes, there's millions of protein powders out there. Some people do beautifully on pea protein or whey protein, but you know, if that's the case, fantastic. Continue on and enjoy um, a body that has enough raw materials on board to thrive. That's what I want for you. I want you to thrive. So if you feel like this was 
helpful, give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear your progress. We've got so many things that we're doing to provide our bodies with all things health and wellness. There's so much more on the docket. There's so much more to explore. Stick with me. Subscribe and jump on my website, ConnieRutledge.com, and subscribe to my free newsletter so that you keep up on all of all things fat loss, longevity, biohacking, because that's my passion and I love sharing it with you. So come for the fat loss, stay for the longevity. You know, both of those seem to have the same root cause. And let's maximize an optimal you. It's worth it. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.